We just had the first duo cash cup of the season on NA, and it was ridiculous. Piedmont and Poyo are the clear favorites coming into FNCS, and none other than the FNCS champions, Acorn and Cold, decided to contest them. It went absolutely terrible. Peterbot went live on stream. Social media was blowing up. I'm going to cover all the craziness. But we also got to answer a lot of questions about the new duos. Mero has a new duo. Booga has a new duo. Cooper and Kanata. All of the big teams have split up, and I'm talking about who they're playing with, where they're dropping, and how they're looking. Let's jump into it. Now, if you're wondering what happened with the duo cash cups, they only ran on Brazil and NA Central. There was a Q bug that was glitching out the tournament on all the other regions. And unfortunately, they ended up canceling it halfway through EU to be ran at a later date. Fortnite status have now tweeted out they are rerunning it, but they haven't given us the exact date yet. So you will still get a chance to play in the duo cash cup, but it meant we only really got to watch NA and Brazil. But NA was the region I was most excited about. If you saw my last video, there has been some absolute crazy snake on NA. Pretty much all of the tier one duos have new duos and I wasn't sure which ones are real and which ones were looking good. And now we have the answer to these questions because almost all of them ended up making the final. So let's run through who's looking the best. In case you're not up to date on how all of this happened, basically, even after coming third last FNCS, Booga and Aviv decided to split. Booga wanted to play with Aegis. This made Aegis then stop playing with Kanata, who was actually on holidays over in Korea at the time. Kanata was then set to play with Dukes, but Dukes decided he didn't want to play with Kanata because he didn't want to stream. This meant Kanata now picked up Cooper, who now dropped Mero. So Cooper and Mero have now split up after winning Global Championship. But a lot of people are confused as to why Cooper and Mero split up. Cooper gave an explanation that a lot of people got really confused about. I'll give you the basic rundown. Pretty much Cooper and Mero were set to drop Mount Olympus. Booga and Aegis, the new duo, also wanted to now drop Mount Olympus. Cooper did not want to grief Booga and he didn't want to contest. He wanted to have a good FNCS and just drop somewhere else or play it out normally. Mero said openly on stream he wanted to grief Booga. And a lot of people took this out of context and thought that meant that Mero is now making it his season's mission to ruin Booga's season. And that's not the case. Basically, Mero was just saying, hey man, I don't care if we come last in FNCS. I am not leaving this drop spot. I don't want to leave. I'm happy to grief Booga by staying the drop spot they were already going. It wasn't like Mero now hates Booga and wants Wants to grief his tournament. That's not the case. If Booga drops somewhere else, Mero is not going to chase him around the map trying to grief him, which is what ended up happening in the duo cash cup. Mero is now playing with Aviv. He did not drop on Booga, who's now playing with Aegis. So that's how the major teams have come about. Mero obviously picked up Aviv now that he's no longer playing with Booga, and that is the most of our new teams. It was rumored for a while there that Reet and Ritual were going to split up. Ritual was going to play with Cooper because they're really, really good friends, and then Reet was going to have to look for a new duo. This did not end up happening. So all of the new duos are the ones that I just recapped. Now, let's talk about where they're dropping and how they're looking. In first place, we had, of course, Peterbot and Poyo on 406 points. This is not a new duo. And the reason why I say, of course, in case you haven't been paying attention, Peterbot and Poyo have been absolutely dominating the pro scrims on NA all season. They have won half the games played so far. They're dropping Grimgate, getting the absolutely broken Cerberus Metallion, and just dominating. The storyline is basically, if Peterbot and Poyo don't end up being contested, they will win FNCS. Now, I know what you're thinking. Why doesn't someone just drop on them then? Well, Acorn and Cole, the FNCS champions themselves, tried this. They dropped on them in the finals, and it went horrendously. This is what happened in game one. I am, 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 what up, Acorn buddy? I'm loading. Yeah. Good shit, dude. Well, look at this f bot. What are you doing? What are you doing? You fucking dog. Get the f out. Unfortunately for Acorn and Cold, it didn't get better from here. Peterbot and Poyo beat them in game two and three before Acorn tweeted out Peterbot is winning FNCS and then went back to his original draw spot of fencing fields from Lark's FNCS and has decided to stop dropping on Peterbot. This duo is looking terrifying. At this point, the only way I see this duo losing FNCS is we have to get a major meta switch. Either Grimgates as a POI gets ruined, the medallion gets nerfed, or they add some form of good mobility either they buff the wings or they add some kind of like soul splashes some way for other players to get a good form of mobility is the only way other teams are going to beat Peterbot and Poyo because they're that good right now they're grinding that hard and that medallion lets them play a game that no one else is playing this is like having the caddy launcher when no one else had it it gives you such an advantage that in the hands of a team this good they are going to win and that's what got proven today they won the duo cash cup by over 36 points even while being contested because even when Acorn and Cold left 
We had Danny Bad Blue's team dropping on them, and they still managed to win every single game on spawn. It's just looking ridiculous. And at this point, it looks like FNCS Grands won't be worth watching for first place. Outside of that, we got our first look at some of the new teams. We had Dukes and Noxie coming in second place overall. Super excited because when all the snakening went down, when all the teams were swapping, a lot of people were confused and surprised to see Dukes end up playing with Noxie. They ended up doing absolutely amazingly today, dropping at the house over near Classy. Not even dropping at a POI, let alone a Mythic POI. Then we had none other than the new Dig duo. We had Kanata and Cooper coming in third on 316 points, which is a pretty solid drop down. Dukes and Noxie and Peterbot and Poyo played phenomenally well today. Kanata and Cooper are now going the yacht. This is an interesting one because the yacht is where I think a lot of the storyline is going to fixate around this season. So we could see a massive buff or massive nerf coming the way of the yacht because it's Midas's yacht and there's a lot still to happen with Midas this season. So we'll see how that plays out. Ritual and Reed still going Reckless Railways in fourth place on 313. And then we had another new duo, Threats and Sphinx, coming out of the Brawler's Battleground. Ares drop spot in fifth on 299 points. Running through the rest of the leaderboard, we had D-Roller and Crackly, a duo I did not expect to see playing together or especially placing so highly. Sixth place for a retired player like D-Roller and Crackly, who's been focusing on no builds, is amazing. Super excited to see this team up on the leaderboard. Yomzo and Ryaz, no stranger there. Barker, Paz, and then Clicks and Epic Whale in ninth. Now, Clicks and Epic Whale are still doing together. They are still going Lavish Lair, despite Lavish being really, really weaker than what it used to be. It's still a good drop. Clicks and Whale said they liked the drop after today. They said there's a lot of things they can improve on. There was a lot of mistakes that were made between both players. Clicks' community was a little bit negative towards Epic Whale. He didn't play the best today in the Duo Cash Cup Finals. A lot of people still thinking that it was Epic Whale's fault that Clicks and Whale didn't do better last FNCS. I mean, they placed fourth. Clicks seemed very happy with that placement, but Clicks has just come back from pretty much not playing at all this season because he's been traveling, making IRL content. So I think they played really, really well considering. It looks like they have a good game plan and they do have Lavish unconned at this point. We also have Cam and Aminished in 10th place. Going through the rest of the leaderboard, we had Muzz and Paper still up there, Aviv and Mero. So again, another brand new duo in 14th place. One of the biggest upsets so far of the new teams was actually Booga and Aegis finishing in 25th place overall with Mount Olympus. Again, this duo has just formed now, but being the duo that started all of this, I was expecting them to place a little bit better off the bat, but plenty of time to improve. It's only a duo cash couple have to see. Acorn and Cold obviously down in 30 35th after having those rough first few games against Peterbot and Poyo. As soon as they switched back to fencing, they got a three Elim 12th, but they did also go down near spawn on their last game as well. So it was an extremely exciting cash cup. And I'm interested to see how FNCS goes. I know I'm saying that Peterbot and Poyo are guaranteed to win it. It's already over, but anything could happen. And we could see another team try their hand to see if they can take down the champs right now. We have also had the solo cash cup since I made my last video. And it looks like the race for the 40 bomb is still on in case you guys have missed it, we've now had Reet drop a 39 kill win in the finals. We've had Peterbot drop a 39 kill third and a 37 kill win back to back. All of those videos are live on my React Antics channel if you want to go watch me watch them. We also have Marius absolutely running up EU right now. He's won three games in the first two weeks and one of them being a 34 kill win, which is now the EU record. So it looks like despite the fact that it's a low mobility season, the 40 bomb race is very much on. If you can drop and get the Grimgate Medallion and the Siphon Medallion ASAP, it is very, very possible you could drop a 40 bomb right now. Realistically, Peterbot's 39 kill third should have been it, but he ended up losing the heal off and couldn't fight in the players in zone. So it's looking exciting. The solo victory cups are still popping off. They're doing very, very well. Also, if you're worried at all about these Q bugs, it looks like they did fix it for NA in Brazil and it shouldn't be coming back for the future tournaments, hopefully.